understanding chemical exposure risks for workers. In many industries, workers are often exposed to various hazardous chemicals in the workplace, day after day. There are multiple possible routes of exposure to toxic chemicals. Therefore, the required type of protection is highly dependent on the application. All risks must be considered when working with hazardous chemicals. These are several symptoms involving dermal or respiratory exposure. Let's focus on hand and body protection. Following contact with toxic chemicals, the relative degree of harm varies by chemical and extent of exposure. In case of the inability to remove a chemical risk completely or to substitute for something non-hazardous, then PPE such as hand protection and body protection are considered as a last line of defense. We are now going to cover three fundamental notions that are permeation, degradation and penetration. Permeation is the movement of a chemical through a material on a molecular level. It's important to note that this process is not necessarily visible and that the material may appear unchanged while permeation is actually happening. Typical standardized permeation tests are done in controlled laboratory conditions using a test cell composed of two compartments where the barrier material is brought into contact with the test chemical liquid. The rate of permeation is not constant throughout the test. So, in order to compare results and assign classifications, a parameter needs to be chosen, which can be reported in the same way across lots of different tests. This parameter is chosen to be the time taken to reach a predefined rate or speed of permeation and this time is known as the normalized breakthrough time. Different regulatory standards for permeation testing are available for PPE clothing and gloves and different rates and speeds are used to determine the normalized breakthrough times. The results can serve as a good benchmark for comparing different PPE materials. Degradation is the physical change in one or more properties of the PPE material due to contact with chemical. Obvious indicators include discoloration, elongation, and burned or cracked gloves. Penetration is the movement of a chemical through pores, gaps in seam, pinholes, or imperfections in a barrier material. It happens because of existing defects or is the result of degradation. To better understand the risks of chemical exposure, you must be able to identify primary hazards, examine chemical information, attain application information, and consider secondary hazards. There are over 144 million chemicals registered worldwide and estimated 15,000 new chemicals are added each day. As experts in assessing and understanding safety and protection needs in multi-risk chemical protection environments, the Ansel team helps customers select the most appropriate protective clothing and gloves via a selection of tools including Ansel Guardian Partner. By submitting requests via Ansel Guardian Partner, our team of chemists and technical experts behind the system can assess degradation and permeation breakthrough times for hand and body protection products versus various singles and chemical mixtures. Ultimately, you can be rest assured that all workers remain well protected and feel equipped in a safer, incident-free work environment.